Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for, data mining and warehousing. So, let's get started. Question number 1, what do you understand by data mining? The answer is, data mining is defined as the process of analyzing the data in different dimensions or perspectives and summarizing it into useful information. Data mining can be queried and retrieve the data from the database in its format. Question number two, what is the purpose of cluster analysis in data warehousing? The answer is, some of the defined purposes of cluster analysis are scalability, ability to deal with different kinds of attributes, discovery of clusters with attribute shape, high dimensionality, ability to deal with noisy, interpretability. Question number three, what do you understand by OLAP? The answer is, OLAP, online analytical processing, is a computing method that enables users to easily and selectively extract and query data in order to analyze it from different points of view. Question number four, how would you differentiate between view and materialized view? The answer is, the view is defined as a virtual table that takes the output of the query and can be used in place of tables. On the other hand, materialized view is indirect access to the table data by storing the results of a query in a separate schema. Question number five, how would you define real-time data warehousing? The answer is, real-time data warehousing is primarily used to capture business data whenever it occurs. Therefore whenever there is a business activity that gets completed, then that data will be available in the flow and become available for use instantly. Question number six, what are some of the disadvantages of data mining? The answer is, the disadvantages of data mining are, first, they do not have security systems in place to protect us. Second, data mining analytics use software therefore it is difficult to operate. Third, it requires a user to have knowledge-based training such that the techniques of data mining are not 100% accurate. Question number 7. What are some technological drivers in data mining? The answer is, the required technological drivers in data mining include Database size. For maintaining and processing the huge amount of data, the need for powerful systems comes in front. Query complexity. To analyze the complex and large number of queries, a more powerful system setup is required. Question number 8. What is data mining query language? The answer is. Data mining query language was proposed for the DB minor data mining system such that it was based on the structured query language. These query languages are designed to support ad hoc and interactive data mining. Data mining query language provides commands for specifying primitives. We can use DMQL to work with databases and data warehouses as well. We can also use it to define data mining tasks. In particular, we examine how to define data warehouses and data marts and data mining query language. Question number 9. What do you understand by active data warehousing? The answer is. Active Data Warehouse is a data warehouse that permits decision makers within a company or organization to manage customer relationships effectively and efficiently. Question number 10. What do you understand by loops in data warehousing? The answer is. In data warehousing, if there is a loop between the tables, then the query generation will take more time and it creates ambiguity. Such that it is advised to avoid loop between the tables. Question number 11. How do you define dimensional modeling? The answer is. Dimensional modeling is defined as a concept used by data warehouse designers to build their own data warehouse. This model can be stored in two kinds of tables. The facts and the dimension table. Such that fact table has facts and measurements of the business and dimension table contains the context of measurements. Question number 12. What do you mean by surrogate key? The answer is. The surrogate key is a substitute for the natural primary key. It is said to be a unique identifier for each row that can be used for the primary key to a table. Question number 13. What does metadata consists of? The answer is, metadata consists of Structure of the data The algorithm is used for summarization Mapping from the operational environment to the data warehouse Question number 14. What do you mean by OLTP and ODS? The answer is OLTP stands for Online Transaction Processing that refers to an application for modifying the data whenever it is received and has a large number of simultaneous users. And, ODS stands for Operational Data Store and it is a repository of real-time operational data rather than long-term trend data. Question number 15. 
What do you mean by ETL? The answer is. ETL refers to extract, transform, and load. This is software that is used for reading the data from the defined data source and extract a desired subset of data. Moreover, it transforms the data using rules and lookup tables and converts it to the desired state. Question number 16. What do you understand about junk dimension? The answer is. This can be considered as a single dimension used for storing the tiny dimensions known as junk attributes. The junk attributes in this phase are a set of text attributes and flags that are transmitted into a different subdomain known as the junk dimension. It is a dimension table consisting of the properties that do not fit either the truth table or the current dimension tables. Further, these features are text or multiple flags like non-generic comments or basic yes or no and true or false markers. Question number 17. What do you mean by subject-oriented data warehouse? The answer is. This can be defined as the storage of data for a specific field such as product, customer, or sales. The subject-oriented property states that the data in a data warehouse are grouped around major bodies in an organization's interests. For example, customers, brands, prices, and vendors. Further, this property allows DW users to do in-depth analyzes on each topic for operational and strategic decision-making. Question number 18. What do you mean by XMLA? The answer is. Using XMLA as XML for testing purposes is an effective method for collecting information from OLAP, data mining, and other online sources. XMLA is a simple object management protocol in which the protocol makes use of two methods. First, discover. The discovery system collects data from the archive. Second, execute. The execution system helps you execute programs against data sources. Question number 19. What is Snowflake Schema? The answer is. A data warehouse snowflake schema is a mathematical structural representation of tables in which the ER diagram resembles a snowflake shape. It is an extension of a star schema that adds depth. The dimension tables have been normalized, resulting in the data being divided into additional tables. Question number 20. What do you mean by the term cube in data warehousing? The answer is. Cubes are used for explaining multidimensional data logically. The dimension members are located on the cube's edge, and the data values are located on the cube's body. Question number 21. What do you mean by aggregate tables? The answer is. Aggregate tables contain current warehouse data that have been clustered to a specific degree of dimension. Data is easier to obtain from aggregated tables than from the original table with a larger number of records. Further, Aggregate tables roll up data to a degree greater than a base or derived table. This table lowers the burden on the database server and improves query efficiency. Question number 22. What is an ER diagram? The answer is. Entity relationship diagram depicts the interrelationships between the entities in a database. This diagram demonstrates the arrangement of each table as well as the relationships between them. An ER diagram is a flowchart that displays how entities in a structure interact with one another. Question number 23. What do you mean by the term bus schema? The answer is. A bus schema is used to identify the common dimensions across business processes, like identifying conforming dimensions. Bus schema has conformed dimension and standardized definition of facts. Question number 24. What is a data lake? The answer is. A data lake refers to a centralized repository for structure and unstructured data storage. It can be used for storing raw data as it is without any structure schema. Moreover, there is no need for performing any ETL or transformation job on it. This can store any type of data like images, text, files, videos, and even it can store machine learning model artifacts, real-time and analytics output. Question number 25. What do you know about data purging? The answer is. Data purging refers to the process involving methods that can erase data permanently from the storage several techniques. And, strategies can be used for data purging the process of data shaping often contrasts with data deletion. However, data purging permanently removes the data to free up more storage and memory space which can be utilized for other purposes. Further, the purging process enables us to archive data even if it is permanently removed from the main source giving us an option to recover that data. Question number 26. What do you know about slowly changing dimensions? The answer is. A slowly changing dimension, SCD, is one that appropriately manages modifications of dimension members over time. It applies when business entity value changes over time and in an ad hoc manner. 
Question number 27, what are the three-tier data warehouse architecture? The answer is, the three-tier data warehouse architecture are. First, bottom tier, the database of the data warehouse servers. Second, middle tier, an online analytical processing, OLAP, server providing an abstracted view of the database for the end user. Third, top tier, a front-end client layer consisting of the tools and APIs used to extract data. Question number 28, what do you mean by virtual data warehousing? The answer is, a virtual data warehouse provides a collective view of the finished data. A virtual data warehouse has no historical data. However, it is often considered as a logical data model of the given metadata. This can be considered as the simplest way of translating data and presenting it inside the form which will be employed by decision makers. Further, it also provides a semantic map that enables users for viewing because the data is virtualized. Question number 29. What do you mean by data pipeline? The answer is. Data pipeline refers to any set of process elements that move data from one system to a different one. Data pipeline is often created for an application that uses data to bring value. And, it can also integrate the information across the applications, building the info-driven web products, and completing the data mining activities. Data engineers build the data pipeline. Question number 30. What is a degenerate dimension? The answer is. In a data warehouse, a degenerate dimension refers to a dimension key in the fact table that does not have its dimension table. Degenerate dimensions usually take place when the fact table's grain is a single transaction, or transaction line. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.